Hey, pretty girl. Hi, Shadow. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, guys. I hope that you're all having a great day. Um, today I have a new type of video for you guys, and as you can see, it has to do with these journals here. So I recently started bullet journaling, which is like kind of like a DIY planner, but it's also like a journal in one. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing just a little bit of like a flip through showing you what I've done so far and possibly talking about new ideas because it is Tuesday when I'm filming this and I just started it on Saturday. I've been working on it every single day for like the majority of the day. Like I think on Saturday I worked like nine hours on it. So yeah, I have two bullet journals. So let's see. This small one here, this is one that I use as more of a journal itself. This one is, it has things that I track kind of like over a lifetime, whereas this one here, oh, it's upside down, this one here, this beautiful one, this one is more of a planner. This is what I'm going to be using to plan over the school year and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you the white one first. So here it is. I can't really get all of it in the shot unless I do this. I have the weirdest filming setup right now so that my camera can like actually film this. So please bear with me. So we open it up. Just a nice blue. And then right here I have my index. So we'll zoom you in a bit. So these are the things that I have. And then it says index at the top. I drew it right here and then I added some little leaves and then I have all of my pages and the page numbers and I reserved the page next to it also for my index. So then we turn and I have one of my favorite quotes which is Look Alive Sunshine from My Chemical Romance because they're my favorite band. Oh, something that I need to say beforehand since I just started, barely anything that I have in here was my original idea. Because I was just getting started, I was looking on Pinterest and YouTube for ideas, and everything in here was at least inspired by something else. So, for example, this I, co I copied almost completely, so I just don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to take credit for anyone else's idea because I'm only using other people's um, ideas for the start. So I can't link you to every single thing that I took reference from, but just know that 99% of my things are from Pinterest and the other are from YouTube. So yeah, I have this cute little ideas for self-care thing. It says love yourself here and it has a bunch of things that I like to do to make myself feel better if I am not having a good day and I drew a little hot air balloon inspired by a necklace that I have. I really like the idea of doing the little stitches. It just makes it look so cute and like hand drawn and I love it. Then the next page, this is something that I saw on Pinterest too. It's a birthdays and holidays tracker. So you put the months around and then you draw little stems off of each to um, signify holidays and you can obviously add to this throughout the year which is also great so that's something that I really like the next one is one of my favorites so this is a way to track the places that you've been so as you can see I haven't been very many places I've only been out of New England I think like twice um, and that once was to Canada so we have only a few states filled in but this is motivation for travel too because I've always loved traveling and I intend to travel to more places. So this will be some motivation to travel to places in the US. Next, this is something that I am obsessed with. So we have a little bookshelf here and you draw in little books and then write the titles of books that you want to read. So this is something 
one of the ones that I personally like the most because you can draw little doodles on it and they're so cute and I just think it's aesthetically pleasing and it's fun to add new ones and you get to or at least I'm going to color them in once I've read them so like say that I read this book then I'm gonna color it in so that is one that I love so much and then over here is a spending log so this I'll zoom you in a little bit um, this doesn't say like my card numbers or anything so it's fine to show you but I have a little arrow up there and then a little um, like graph thingy and it has the date the store the cost whether I paid cash or a card and my balance I don't know my balance right now which is pretty bad but <laughs> I will find that out and put that in there it's fine um, so yeah and then this is something that I also love so over here we have this cute little wish list so the item the price and then check it off once you've got it and then I just drew a cute little octopus because why not it's cute and then these are YouTube video ideas so I just did different types of like things to write things in and then I did a little watermelon because it was cute I think I was watching Kathleen Lights when I was making this one and she had on a watermelon shirt oh yeah it was her recent video about her, um, a perfume haul and some of her favorite summer perfumes so that's why I drew the watermelon because she had those on her shirt and it was cute the next one oh yes so I'm saving up for a new camera I want a Canon T5i so um, Amazon has this cool thing where it's like a savings account and you can deposit money and it goes into your gift card balance so I am currently doing that so we have this jar right here and I have different um, amounts so I think that they're like $500 so if I can at least get $400 I don't mind paying an extra just $100 that's fine but because um, I'd like to have it by Christmas so here are the months and at the end of the month I'm going to write how much I have saved up and then by the end of November in December near Christmas I should have the amount so I'm gonna write when I have the amount and the date that I get it so this page is kind of just a fun page I drew some little Polaroid doodles and then I added a sticker that I got from Etsy I don't remember which shop and then this is a kind of a weird thing that I do but Mr. Brightside is one of my favorite songs so I'm weird and I just decided that I would write down every time I hear it on the radio I did I've done this since the beginning of the year so it became one of my favorite songs officially in like the summer of 2015 and I had it, hadn't heard it on the radio in so long and then I finally heard it again in October of 2015 and so I had been like not actually counting but like paying attention to every time I heard it on the radio and then when 2017 came I decided I was going to actually write them down so I've been writing them down and um I just used cute little like banners and arrows and things like that and then at the end of the year I'm going to write it so um, I had another notebook that I did it in but it wasn't aesthetically pleasing so then I figured that I would just transfer it over into here all right next page oh so this is my subscribers so I started my channel on August 11th 2015 officially I know that on my channel it says that I started it December 31st of I think it's 2014 but that was just the day that I like activated my YouTube account like the day that I activated my Gmail with my YouTube account I didn't actually start the channel until that day and then the day that I hit 50 subs and the day that I hit 100 subs was my birthday this year so that's nice and they have this page um, designated out for that too then the next one we have my singing tracker so if you guys don't know maybe you haven't been following my channel for a while or you are new I am a music major in college and my main voice uh, my main instrument is my voice so it's just a good thing for me to hold myself accountable I have here warmed up saying hi because I'm a soprano breathing sight singing and saying actual songs 
and then I have the notes that I hit each day, how high I can go and how low I can go. And um, I know a lot of people write out for the entire month, but I just have, these are just a random 31 days in general, because this one, like I said, this is kind of just tracking in general, this whole notebook. This is not my actual planner. And so I have just a bunch of squares and I'm going to color them in each day that I do singing. And I really like this. I think it's good. And then this is my keyboard tracker because I need to practice knowing things on the keyboard too. So I have all of my scales. I haven't colored these in yet, but I do know all of my scales. So it was kind of not really, there wasn't really a point in this, but I mean, it's going to be satisfying to look at. I guess and then all of my modes which are a killer so I do know two of the modes already because like I think it's Aeolian is the same as natural minor and Ionian is the same as major so it's like if I know those two then I know these but like I know some of you probably aren't gonna understand that at all and I'm so sorry but like yeah so that is that hold on why is that doing that why are there just like numbers there? What the heck? Oh, I know. Next is my gratitude log. So when I drew here, it pushed on that and... Oh, okay. I love this. This is my gratitude log. So I've got a little banner that says gratitude log and then a part one because I intend to probably have more than one of these. So there's that. And then I have a bunch of numbers and then I have a quote that says... Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul, from Henry Ward Beecher. So yeah, I just think it's cute, and if I even just at the end of the day, it doesn't even have to be every single day, but if I just write something nice that I'm like grateful for, or something good that happened that I'm thankful for, that'll be good. And especially if I'm having like a bad day, because I know on my really good days, I don't have a problem with being grateful, but like... On our bad days, I think this is something with everyone, of course, it's hard to be grateful because everything is going wrong, so this kind of forces me to think about it. Then next, oh, I just have a little succulent dump, because I think that doodles of succulents are so cute. So, I just wanted to have one where I could um, just draw little succulents, because they are so freaking cute. And so... Yeah, I don't have that many so far, but this is something that I can just come back to and add to, which I like. And then on the next one, this is a daily checklist. And so I just have things like drink a full bottle of water, at least one full bottle of water, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because that is something that I have a lot of trouble with, is eating all three. Um, to sing, because I love to sing, and when I'm feeling down, I don't sing, but if I sing, then I feel better, so it's, it's kind of a... I don't know, kind of a double-edged sword there, but... <laughs> and brush teeth. Because I don't have a problem with remembering to brush my teeth if I have somewhere to be that day, but sometimes I forget when it's just when I'm just being lazy, but like I hate not brushing my teeth and it makes me feel like the most disgusting person ever, so like having this kind of... I know that's disgusting, I'm sorry, but like <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only person who has that problem, but like... um you know, sometimes it's just hard to remember, and so it's nice to have a little checklist, and I can check off things. I don't think you can see it because it's that same neon yellow that I used in the um, singing tracker, but yeah. So, okay. Oh, and it has this nice little teal silk bookmark, which is so cute. So that's it for this journal. So that was my actual little bullet journal, like my real journal, and then we're going to look at the blue one for my planner. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty big. I remember I was gifted this by a family member so long ago, like over 10 years ago probably. Um, but I never really used it. So now that I've gotten into journaling, I use it now. So that's good. Okay. So we're going to open it up. And it has such beautiful flower pattern on it. And I'll try and like move it around so that you guys can see. I know it doesn't completely fit and I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm not going to risk messing up this filming setup again. So I know that I've ripped out some pages. I had to rip out a few in order to start this. 
So I did some doodling on here. That is a doodle that I found on Pinterest and I copied it almost exactly. And then I wrote my name in fake calligraphy. Ah! Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, that was an adventure. All right. Yikes. Okay. All right. I don't think I'm going to get that back to how it was before, but you know, this this is this is fine. Ugh. Okay. All right. This is fine. This is great. So, we're going to flip the page. Ugh. So I decided, you know what, we're going to do this vlog style. Here we go. I've got you stacked on top of a bunch of fake books, but like my tripod was leaning over so it was hard to keep it that way. Alright, I'm just going to do it this way. Oh yes, wow, surprise, I had it on a white thing. Yeah. So this is what my July little monthly spread looks like. This is what this page looks like. In the next page. Okay, so I decided that because I don't have that much to do during the week in the summer, that I don't really need a weekly spread for each week. So instead I'm just doing this little monthly spread. So I'm gonna put my events here. And then I put some gold washi tape here and some little space doodles, that was my theme for this month. I have this quote which I really really like and yes that is supposed to be Degrassi but I I messed it up somehow and it turned into that so it's the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you and I don't know that that's kind of comforting because sometimes you're like you know it can get intimidating thinking about the ex existentialness existentialism of space but then it's like so what it doesn't have to make sense like it's nothing is telling the world to make sense, you know? It doesn't have to. But And so then I have this little calendar, and then I have my little work schedule, which I'm just going to put the days that I work and when I have time off. And then doodles, so that's what this looks like. Oh, and also, if you guys, this is kind of like a hack, but if you're ever not happy with a few pages in your journal, this only really works with like two or three pages, but you can always glue them together and it makes it look like one page. That's what I did here, and I like it. And then the next page, we have a little habit tracker. So I am doing a monthly habit tracker in this one, and then I've got some doodles on the side. And so these are some things. I have like a really bad habit of picking the skin on my fingers, and it's gross, and I hate it. So we are going to try and not do that anymore because I want nicer hands and can't have that if I pick my fingers off so that's not good and then I have a mood tracker I do it all through the month and then I already started drawing for August just because I wanted to like so bad but that's what it looks like I don't have anything else in here um I have another notebook and I planned out what I'm going to do for school. I am so excited to show you what I'm going to do for school because it's literally so nice looking. And um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hold on, wait, no, I have more to show you. Oops. So in here, really quick, I have, ah, ah, come out, come out, eh, 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 eh. Okay. So if I'm in class, I'm probably not going to have a lot of time to literally draw out everything that I need. So I'm going to, I have post-its and little flags that I can put things on and then draw them in later. And then I just have these cute stickers that I figured would be nice to put on assignments and stuff. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below. Um, you know, just your thoughts on it, what you'd like me to do next, if you'd like me to keep doing bullet journal videos, because I really like doing them. And, yeah, if you're new, like a new person who's come because you just like bullet journal videos and you haven't been to my channel before, you should subscribe, because we always welcome new people here, and I will have more of these videos coming. And, yeah, so, 
Have a great day, everyone, and I love you so much. Bye.